Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to create reflections. What we have here is just a basic like pre-made walk cycle of an, uh, I keep wanting to call him an Enderman for some reason, a zombie pigman, he walks up. So basically what we want is him to walk up and be like, whoa, there's a reflection of me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a surface. Uh, you could use pretty much any uh, any type of thing you want as far as I know. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to use this here surface. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. Once again, this isn't that important. It's just however you want it to be. Whatever you want yours to look like. I'm just going to make it generally like a, what would you call it, a body mirror, something like that. Let's have it go 1.25. So we'll do like that. And then let's see, how would we want to position it? Maybe diagonal, would that be fun? I'll try it diagonally. Something like this. All right, that's pretty good. So what this is gonna be, this surface is gonna be our mirror reflection, whatever you want to call it. So right now, obviously there's nothing to it. It's just, it's just a dang old surface, right? Nothing's going on. So let's go ahead and name it just so we know what we're working with here as we normally do and I'm gonna spawn in a camera if I can find it okay can't see today for some reason and what we're gonna do is imagine that this surface is seeing something like whatever it's seeing is what this camera will see so we're just gonna go ahead and position the camera pretty much center and try to line it up so one thing uh, some people mentioned about my bow and arrow tutorial is that I could have copy and pasted the uh, parameters for the bows to make them line up more perfectly and more easily. Um, I feel like I tried to do that, to be honest, but I don't remember. There was some kind of problem I, I encountered. Maybe it's just me making excuses. I don't know. But what I'm going to try to do here is see if we can match up the camera and, and the surface. Why not? Let's go ahead and control C on that and go to the same here and control V. And it doesn't work because they don't match up. All right. So there you go. It works for some things, maybe not others. We're just going to eyeball it, which is what I would do anyway, because I'm a genius. All right. That looks pretty good. And it's seeing pretty much what we want it to see here. So what we're going to do is now that we got the camera set up, this camera is seeing what the surface is seeing if that's how you want to put it and we're going to go to our project here go go to our library and find our surface we're going to rename it just because that's how i roll and we're going to make the texture this camera so we're going to do that and then let's actually just for the sake of uh keeping up with what we're doing we're going to name the camera Reflection cam with the obligatory underscore. All right. So as you can see now on our reflection or on our um, surface here, it is showing us what the camera sees, which is not too bad. Not too bad. Unfortunately, it is stretched because of the way the camera is uh, set up. You know, the camera is only seeing this, uh, you know, horizontal type view. So what we're going to do is try and correct that. We're going to see if we can make this a little bit better the way it should be. So you got these repeat functions here. Like since we're using a camera as a texture, you can do a horizontal offset. You can do a vertical offset. As you can see, it's having these effects that you might would use for some reason. Um, and then you have this. We can do that. And then you have the mirror horizontally and mirror vertically. So sometimes for certain types of uh, shots or however your camera is set up, you might um, need to have those things adjusted because uh, the, the position of the camera may not be reflecting things accurately. As you can see here, it actually is not reflecting things accurately. The camera is seeing this from its perspective and we're getting it on here reversed but a real reflection would have it the opposite way so we're just going to leave that unchecked and that gives us an accurate reflection the other problem we have here is uh this the stretching now 
I haven't used this effect a lot, so I'm not really sure uh, uh, how to correct this right off. I'm going to take a look and see if I can figure it out real quick, and then I will come back and let you know the results of my exploration. All right, guys, so we are in the camera settings here, and I didn't find any way to really kind of use some good numbers to adjust things, but what we do have here in the camera selection is the screen ratio. So if we bring this down, you may notice that it's kind of spreading things out here on our camera. Let's actually get rid of this. We're just going to look at it on the thing here. So um, now obviously I don't really know how you would correlate the numbers. So we're just going to have to eyeball it. If that doesn't make any sense, basically what I'm trying to say is uh, I don't know if you can use any specific numbers to get the, you know, the height of this. If we look at the number of the scale that I have for the, the mirror here, you know, 1.25 on width and 2.5 on our height. Well, there's no way to like correlate that and give this an exact number to match that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball it. I feel like 0 0.7 might actually not be too bad. And we can also adjust our field of view. We can have it kind of come back a little bit and do something like that. And it kind of seems like a relatively accurate portrayal. Let's make it maybe a little bit more. I feel like that actually looks pretty good. That looks pretty good right there, I would think. So what you end up with is this awesome little mirror. Obviously, you might would have this in a house or something, whatever your schematic is. And as you can see, I actually did those over some keyframes. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And that won't change, hopefully. There we go. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Zombie Pigman has got some stuff going on and I killed the wrong keyframe. Great. There we go. All right, we got it fixed. <laughs> oh, quality tutorials. All right, let's get rid of that and let's see what this looks like. Can we, let me see what happens here. All right, so if we do that, we can get rid of it. So you can get rid of the camera without having any issues there. Now, obviously, if you want to do this, you might would parent the camera to the object. For the sake of this tutorial, I didn't do it. I probably should have. Um, but, you know, I don't know if you would you would have your, if I could talk, I don't know if you would have your surface animated in the scene. So it may not be necessary to parent it. For me, just for organization and being able to get rid of this camera and have it um, drop down into our mirror here. I would probably do it just for the sake of cleanliness in my timeline, but it's up to you however you want to do it. Anywho, as you can see, the pigman walks up, and then we got this perfect, perfect reflection of him. More or less perfect. Obviously, it doesn't have to be 100%. Sometimes mirrors don't have the same exact thing going on as real life. They might have a little bit of distortion to them, so that's perfectly fine if that's how you want to do it. In any case, that's pretty much it. That's the basics that I can uh, think of right now as far as how to do a reflection. And you can apply this to, like, some people make rigs, like Steve rigs or whatever, and they apply this reflection with two cameras uh, attached to the Steve rig so his uh, irises or his eyes have, like, a slight reflection. So let's say you would want to use that. You want to make, a, like, say, your the character's iris uh, or his eyes, whatever you want to call it, reflect something and you may not want it to be this one-to-one -one, like exact replication of what his of what the camera sees you want to mix it up so let's just pretend that the surface is an eye let's say we're going to have steve's eye be brown or something so we're going to make this surface which would be you know your iris or your eye pupil whatever uh for your rig or whatever thing you're using i'm just using the eyes as an example be creative uh what you could do is mix the percentage you can change the brightness a little bit or whatever so you could imagine this kind of being steve's iris and you had this slight reflection that you would see and it doesn't look good here of course but if imagine if this is an eye it would have more color to it and uh you would see some more like slight reflectionness in it also one more thing that you can do let's go ahead and Bring this down under the surface our mirror here you have a brightness and you can kind of tell that this 
reflection is a little bit off from the colors that we have in our scene. So if I bring this brightness up, it actually kind of brings it into a similar lighting of the scene. So that may be something you'd want to adjust. I don't really know if it's that big of a deal, but it's definitely good to know if you want to make sure that things look exactly the way you want. So that's pretty much it. That's all I can really think of uh, for reflections this time today. If you have any other questions or any other applications, maybe we can revisit this uh, concept for an updated, more advanced tutorial. But that's pretty much the basics that I can think of. And hopefully, let's see if we can get this lined up here. Hopefully that helps get your uh, stuff where you want it to be. Got our nice reflection there with the pigment not even looking at himself. I don't know why he wouldn't be admiring his beautiful face. Oh well. Anyway, once again, I hope it helped. Sorry if it was a little bit uh, of a bumpy ride. <laughs> had a few things I had to learn on the spot here since this isn't something I really use that much in my own animations. But I do it so you don't have to. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Hope it was helpful. And I will see you in the next video.